So we've got an LK EZ H2O machine here. And it had a fault where this wasn't displaying and this wasn't displaying, completely blank. So what we had to do, order a new kit. Quite expensive, 340 pound I believe in the UK. Take off the two top screws. Pull, pull the lid down. Very straightforward. So, once you undo these two nuts, pull it up and expose you the PCB. PCB very straightforward. Two connections. One goes to this sensor. Two goes to the filter light. All you do, unclip this one, unclip this one, pull them out, take off the four screws, pull the cables through the grommet, and that's it. Put a new one in. This clips back on, you have to push it, so it reaches this screw, clips back on. I had also changed this as it comes with the kit, the filter lights, and I've also changed this, the sensor for the bottom filler. Very straightforward, two screws, pops in, pops out, pop the new one in, connects to the PCB. Three connections here of the PCB, one, two, and three. Once that's all in, Machine back on, tested, all working. Just a little heads up, the way I tested to find that the PCB was faulty was I had removed this plug with the power on and I've used my AC detector put the red probe in the top section of this check that there was 240 volts there was but there was no light on the LK machine so I ordered a new kit replaced the kit very straightforward five ten minute job all done